Hello everyone and welcome to another Foxtech video. This time we talk about a split screen multitasking on the iPad and the question for today is how do you actually close it? How do you get outside of that view which shows multiple apps open at the very same time? Now let me just show it to you right now. So for example, let me open up Safari like this and if I just go to this section, I can open up some website browsing normally and I'm just going to bring out some other app in here and get inside of the multitasking view split screen is going on right now. Now there are a bunch of different ways how you can close it. The very first one is using the handle in the middle because you know you can always just grab it uh, like this and resize it. You can make one app smaller, split them 50-50 or the other app can be larger. So that's the option as well but if you just grab it and slide it all the way you can either remove the uh, App Store or Safari in our case. So you can remove one app or the other from the screen, leaving with only one app open, which effectively means that you closed or got outside of the split screen multitasking view. So that would be the first option. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. The second option is to use the buttons because that's the more practical. I mean, if you don't like the gestures, you can also use the buttons because if you go again inside of this split screen view, you always have the three dots button at the top of each window. So let's say I want to get outside of the Safari and keep the App Store open. So in this case, I click on Safari or locate it, tap on the button at the top, and you can see I can decide that I want to keep this screen full or just close the window. So if I tap on close, I'm left with Safari or the App Store only. And it would work the other way around, so it doesn't matter which you, uh, which option you choose, you can always do that. So you can either tap on one side and choose it full screen or close it, or the same thing for the other window. So that's another very easy option. Now, let me just get to the multitasking view again to show you the next possibility. So if you go like this and I am inside of this section, I can browse the web. Normally, everything is going on as it should be. Now, if I want to get outside of that view, I don't need to use the gestures or the buttons. I can simply go to the multitasking view like this and you can see I have all the apps right here. So I can swipe up on YouTube, for example, to close it, swipe up on the settings everything is normal. But this window is not a normal window because it consists of two apps, which I can swipe up on individually. So I can swipe up on Safari or on the App Store. So that's another option. You can always just, if I want to keep the Safari open and not the App Store, I can just swipe up on it, leaving me only with Safari. So that's the other option how you can close it. Now, there are also other ways how you can use multitasking on iPad. Let's say that you use the uh, the floating window method. So let me just grab it like this. You can see that right now I have a window which is floating around and I can always just slide it outside. I can just put it on the left side, slide it here as much as I want. This is not split screen technically, but it is also multitasking. If I want to close that, I can just put it to the side, but it's not really closed yet. If I really want to close that window, I can just get to the multitasking view. I have all of my regular apps in here, but on the right side, I have a secret section of the vertical windows, which were the floating ones. So I can swipe up on it in here and the multitasking is effectively closed. I cannot swipe back the Safari again. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, I probably explain every single uh, way how you can get outside of the view. So if you found this video useful, make sure to leave a thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below because you don't want to miss the next videos in the future. You definitely want to stay up to date with your iPad and know everything that you need to know about it. Thanks all for watching. Peace out until the next video.